everybody, Crackberry Kevin here doing a little special report for Windows Phone Central to give you guys a look at Blackberry's new entry into the smartphone game. This is the BlackBerry Z10, the first BlackBerry to be running on the new BlackBerry 10 software. Uh, as you guys know, I've been waiting for BlackBerry 10 for like years. So in the meantime, I've been trying all the phones. You know, this is my Lumia 920 here. Uh, that I, you know, came onto the podcast for a while, uh, a, a while ago there and talked at, at length about. You can see I've got my Windows Phone Central app. I'm hardcore. I'm all set up and dialed in. Uh, and I really like Windows Phone 8. I really do. It's bright. It's happy and everything else. Uh, you know, it's got a great aesthetic about it. And um, that's not to say I don't love BlackBerry 10, though. I think there's room in the, the market for everybody. And BlackBerry 10 is interesting because it's a different approach. You know, while Microsoft, who has, you know, strong enterprise route, roots, really built a consumer sort of aesthetically pleasing experience here, you know, RIM focused on utility a lot with BlackBerry 10. So I want to show you what it's about, what the priorities are, and, uh, you know, I'll leave it to Dan and the gang to kind of, you know, praise it or rip it apart at their leisure. So this is more of a demo, but in terms of the size, you can see BlackBerry went with a 4.2 inch display here. The device overall is a little bit, you know, smaller, more friendly in the hand than the Lumia 920. Uh, definitely lighter. BlackBerry chose 4.2 inches for a very specific reason because, you know, BlackBerry users historically are two thumb typers, they need ample room, but they're also used to using the phone with one hand and, and being on the go. So they don't want to go any bigger where all of a sudden you have to use two hands and it's hard to reach on the phone. Uh, but they want it small enough that you can still use it one hand, but still get two fingers on there, two thumbs on there. The user interface here is completely gesture based. So we'll show you that again. I went kind of fast. You don't even need a power button to turn it on. You can just swipe up from the bottom. The screen wakes up and you're into the OS. You have your traditional icon grid here for opening apps. And once apps are open, they, they minimized running apps reside on this active frame panel. So these are all open apps right now. If I open something like the weather app, here it is in full screen. When I minimize it, it's still running right now, but you'll see it flips and it becomes more of a widget or, or live tile of sorts, but it's not either. It's actually the application minimized and running. So if I want to jump between apps very quickly, I can do that. Uh, it's really efficient, very fast to get around the device, especially if you just use it. You don't think about opening and closing things. You just use your device all the time. Uh, the other big innovation here is the hub. So basically the hub is BlackBerry's unified inbox throughout the operating system. So basically all your communications, whether it's uh, text messages, email accounts, Facebook, Twitter, they all reside in this hub and they're accessible from anywhere. So if I'm in BBM, in the app, my red light goes off, I have a message, I can peek up, see what it is, actually look over, see what it is, and if I want to take action on it, I can. If I don't, I just ignore it. If I want to, I go in and I can respond. So if I get a Facebook message, I don't actually have to go into Facebook to reply. I can do it right from here, very quick, and uh, never touch the app. But if I want to touch the app, I can. I can go back to the home screen, jump into Facebook very quick. It's all about utility. There's a lot of great features in BlackBerry 10 beyond that on the app front. They're doing a solid job. Uh, but that's a quick look at it and check out crackberry.com for more information if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll leave it to the guys here to uh, talk more on it. Thanks a lot. Kevin out.